Fossils like this prove that giant creatures once owned our planet. But did you also know that these large prehistoric animals made their home right here in Florida? And many of those animal remains still litter our rich rivers. And you at home can find them. You just need to know where to look. On a rainy Florida morning. That's it. All the tools for a successful dig, hopefully. Mark Renz begins his search, his hunt for prehistoric Florida. This fossil hunter knows there's an ancient world right below his feet. Only you have to be willing to hike, get your shoes dirty, and go waist deep in the cool waters of the Peace River. But once you get there, it's like peeling away the layers of a prehistoric Florida. Oh, look at this lemon shark too sitting around the surface. And Mark loves to find shark teeth. But not just any shark's teeth. Ooh. It's a snaggletooth shark, a lower. And this shark has not been in Florida for two to three million years. But as I found out, it's not easy work shoveling up the past. Wading, digging, and sorting fossils takes skill and patience. When you go fossil hunting, you gotta know where to look. That's why you go with guys like Mark. Now, this river is littered with shark's teeth, but ultimately, this is what you wanna find. The tooth of an ancient shark. They say this thing was 60 feet long and used to swim in these waters. Shark! Shark! Everybody out of the water! A shark known as Megalodon, as seen in the recent film Shark Attack. It was a monster creature that once hunted around the Tampa Bay waters. So you don't believe Hollywood? Well, try believing Mark. This is one of probably 250 teeth that were in the jaw. So imagine 250 of these, how large that jaw would be. It'd be taking chunks of meat out of whales six to eight feet in diameter. And that tooth is from a Megalodon. This amateur paleontologist has extracted several from Florida's waters. But that's not all he has found. This is a mastodon elephant tooth. This is a lower jaw from a prehistoric horse. Yeah, this is a, the tip of a mastodon elephant tusk. And Mark says there is a good reason why Florida has so many fossils waiting to be discovered. We had no earthquakes here, no volcanic activity or shifting of tectonic plates. Mark's love for fossils began when he was just a kid, but now it has turned into an educational process and a living. He has written several books on the subject, and almost every day, he takes groups out who pay him to uncover the past. A past most people in Florida don't even realize is buried right underneath their feet. Near Wachula, I'm meteorologist Randy Roush for Tampa Bay's 10 News.